Hey guys, still Sigrun up here. Today I have with me Marvel Legends Guardian. Now on the left over here is from the Ares BAF wave from I think 10 years, more than 10 years back around 2008 or 2009. And this is from the Wendigo BAF wave. So this is from the early Hasbro era when Hasbro just took over from Toy Biz. And they are, at that point of time, they do use Toy Biz uh, body mold quite a lot. So at a glance, you can see that the Wendigo Guardian is bigger in size and taller. He's on an updated body mold, so he's bigger in size. This is from, um, if I'm not mistaken, it follows the Toy Biz Bull's Eye figure. On the costume appearance, I feel that this actually looks better. The early Hasbro Guardian looks better because the maple leaf kind of points more diagonally upwards than um, the newer Guardian. I posted a picture of this comparison on my Instagram and, an, and a Canadian actually said that he actually prefers this design because it is actually more similar to the flag and I kind of agree. However, having said that, let's take a look at the whole figure first. Here's the back of the figure. So the back is actually kind of similar in design. These uh, pointed edges are also pointing kind of upwards. More upwards than the front part anyways for the new Hasbro uh, Guardian. Here's a side view. One thing that I hate about this body mold is that you can see that the figure kind of hunched forward. You can see the neck is kind of protruding forward. If I were to make the figure one click back, he's gonna be like this. Kind of leaning back. And if I put it at at this in this position, it'll be kind of hunching forward. So you know it's I'm just kind of stuck between the two. I can't make it I I can't figure out how to make this body look look okay. From the front it's not so obvious but the moment you turn to the side you can see how much the neck protrudes forward. I really dislike this body mold and I'm really glad that Hasbro has finally stopped using this. I think the last one that they use this for is for um Iron Fist from the it's on Iron Fist like the white costume Iron Fist. Now up close you can see that the new Hasbro Guardian kind of have a grimace on his face. He's more grim and, and looks more fierce or stern than the old Hasbro Guardian. The head is also more proportionate to the body. I feel that the head of the old Guardian is kind of small compared to the body. Now let's compare the articulation. For the old Hasbro, this body mold has this uh, shoulder butterfly joint, ab crunch, waist swivel, um, forearm swivel. The wrist can only go up and down, that's why it requires the um, forearm swivel. It has the ball hip joints of um, Toy Biz. It's kind of a Toy Biz trademark to have these ball hip joints and also see the toe hinge joint. The ankle is um, kind of, I don't really like this ankle because you can see there's like a rectangular cut over here which doesn't really look great. It lets the ankle move left and right and also forward and backward. One thing that I also dislike is this useless finger hinge joint. Like who in the world moves your finger like this, you know? So, I'd rather have a, a fist and alternate hands than this kind of useless movement of the fingers. Maybe individually articulated finger is still okay, but a whole, all four fingers together, what's the point? Might as well they just make a fixed hand instead of having a, shoulder, uh, a finger hinge joint. Now, for the newer Hasbro Guardian, he has this updated body mold. There's a few figures that actually also have this body mold. I can't figure out which one of them have this same body mold. Maybe you can uh, type it in the comments below. It can do a split quite decently. It doesn't have a shoulder butterfly joint, but I feel that it's quite decently articulated enough. 
double hinge elbow joint the wrist is the knob standard has bro wrist which can rotate and also move up and down app crunch waist swivel uh, the legs goes up in front decently double hinge knee joint it has a calf swivel and also ankle rocker you can ro rotate diagonally like this and also up and down this is definitely one um, update that Hasbro has that they need to keep on doing this elbow joint kind of um, it's kind of a smooth transition of joints instead of like this um, funny looking joint over here that has kind of a straight line and stuff yeah. it doesn't look as nice and clean as the Hasbro version as the Hasbro anchor rocker yeah Here's a size comparison with 80th anniversary Captain America and Pizza Smiley. You can see the new Guardian matches up in size well with the newer Hasbro figures. And the older version is definitely kind of outdated. This body mold, like I mentioned earlier, I'm glad that Hasbro has stopped using it. And you can see that this Guardian is even looks smaller than the Pizza Smiley. Here's a shot of Guardian with the BAF Sasquatch. Again, I definitely prefer the newer Hasbro Marvel Legends Guardian than the early Hasbro Marvel Legends Guardian. Yeah, this although I feel that this um, maple leaf design is nicer on the older Hasbro, but the newer Hasbro definitely overall has a better figure. Do stay tuned for more comparison videos. Hit the subscribe button and take care everyone.